CR 225 Q&A practice test. Ready? Here we go. What code numbers were put on the fired cartridge case? May I refer to my notes? Will that refresh your memory? Yes. Do you want me to go down the list for each one? Just for the 9mm fired cartridge case. So the 9mm fired cartridge case was assigned barcode 12420025470. Okay. Also during that search, did you find a gun in a holster? Yes, we did find a gun in a holster at the edge of the garage, just behind a ladder, a box, a drawer, and a bag. So was this gun and holster kind of buried under a bunch of things? Yes. And showing you exhibit 34. What is shown in exhibit 34? Exhibit 34 is the star 9mm semi-automatic gun and this is a holster. Okay, both of those are in the photo. Yes. And what was done with the holster? Did you package it in some way? Yes, I brought it back to the lab. And what was the barcode number that was given to it? 12420025. And the gun itself, that was a star 9mm, yes, and was that given a barcode number? Yes, its barcode was 12420025432. And there was a serial number on that gun, right? Yes, there was. What was that serial number? 1771109. Was there an item along with the ammunition magazine? Yes, there was an ammunition magazine. Okay, where was that? It was in the gun. Did you separate that? Yes. And was that given its own separate barcode number? Yes, it was given barcode 12420002544. Now later on, did you swab any portion of the gun? Yes. I fingerprinted the gun and it was negative for fingerprints, so then I swabbed it for touch DNA. Okay, how many different swabs were there? Well, overall, I took five, four swabs from the gun, and then the control samples for the water and the clean powder that I used to process the gun, focusing on the swabs of the gun itself. Did you do a swab of the handle and grip of the gun? Yes, and was that given its own item number? Yes, that was given item F1A. Was there an F1B? Yes. What was that? That was a swab of the trigger guard. Was there an F1C? Yes, F1C were swabs of the frame and the slide and the barrel. Were those three items all given the same barcode? Yes. Okay, what barcode was given? 12420025510. Was there an item F1D? Yes, F1D were swabs of the hammer, the safety latch, and the slide latch. Now, what is involved in doing a DNA swab of a gun? Well, it's done with sterile water, so the first thing is to set up your clean powder. The next thing we do is we take physical swabs of the gun. Then I follow that with the dry swab. They are taped shut. They are submitted and stored in the freezer until the time as the DNA analyst pulls that package to work that item. You yourself don't analyze it for DNA. No, sir, I don't. Also that day, May 13th, during that search, did you receive from Sergeant Terrence some bags of something? Yes, I received bags of clothing. Okay. And was there a label that ended up being attached to it? To the bag of clothes? Let me put Exhibit 39 on the screen. Is this something you recognize? Yes, that's my writing. And I see there's a date. There's a date and time, right? And I see a number like 07120-2981. That's the Orange County Sheriff's report number, the deputy report number for the case. Okay, there's a LIMS number 12122240. What's that? LIMS is Lab Information Management System. That's our in-house lab tracking system. And this label, what is done with this label? With the label, is this label attached to the items? That label will be assigned to all the items of evidence that come in on that case. Just for the this label, it says, clothing from Detective Taryn, right? Yes. Now, did you take the clothes out of the bags, out of plastic? Yes. Out of the plastic. Did you photograph the clothes? Yes, I did. And I want to show you Exhibit 37. What is Exhibit 37? It's a pair of blue cargo shorts that were in the bag. I don't know if you can read it, but can you read the label, the brand name label on the back? Yes, it's High Mountain. And you took this photo. Yes, I did. This was a pair of clothes that was in the bag, right? Yes, they were in the bag. I also want to show you Exhibit 38. What is Exhibit 38 a photo of? This is a photo of a jacket that was in the bag. It's called Energy Brand. Energy Studio, I believe, was the brand on that. For the record, it's plaid and design, right? Yes, and you took that picture. Yes, I did. And was this piece of clothing also in one of the bags? Yes. Now, did you have anything to do with whether or not these pieces of clothing were tested for gunshot residue? I believe that was requested by the case agent further down the road, but you yourself didn't know. And the clothes, was that all in one barcode? It was in one barcode put in a box. They were all separately wrapped within one box and one barcode. What is the purpose of that? The individual wrapping is to keep them from rubbing on each other, touching each other, just in case we have to come back 
back and do further testing and what barcode was used to mark the close. It's 124200255. Thank you. You said you got three bags from Detective Tiran with clothes in them. I'm not sure if I said three. I'd have to look at my notes and see if it was three. Could you look, please? I could. It was three. All right, that will conclude our RPR 225 Q&A practice test. Thank you.